Hey everyone, we are going to discuss today regarding minimal change disease, a very common cause of nephrotic syndrome, especially in children. So please stay tuned till the end of the video. We are going to capture all the high end points and going to have lots of fun today. So minimal change disease, uh, here what happens? Here there is a fusion of the food processes. There is a loss of anionic charge on the glomeruli that happens. And here, uh, the important thing is that the most important thing is the light microscopic findings and immune fluorescent findings are absolutely normal. So there are, there is, it is not a classical immune complex disease. There will be no immune complex deposits over here. It is uh, known to be precipitated by some elaboration of cytokines that inflicts injury uh, to the epithelial food processes. And what could be the exact causes is not very uh, known, but it could be due to some respiratory viral infections and it could also be due to some routine prophylactic immunization in the children that can also trigger the event. So these are the important uh, factors behind uh, this uh, minimal change disease. So here, uh, the classical features of nephrotic syndrome are there. That is, there is a massive proteinuria. Then only more than 3.5 gram per day protein is excreted. With highly selective albuminuria is seen. That is the important feature. And on electron microscopy, we will be able to demonstrate the fusion of food processes, the loss of the flattening of the photocytes and the flat of the fusion will be quite well marked in uh, the light electron microscopy only. And how to treat the patient? Uh, so it is generally seen in children. Sometimes it may be even seen in adults and even elderly age group patients are also like uh, in um, extreme age group like 80s and patients in 80s are also may be seen in uh, especially in adults and uh, elderly individual the prognosis may be bad but in children generally the prognosis is good and uh, it is it responds dramatically well with corticosteroid and if well managed if well treated the patient uh, is known to have good prognosis and there is no hypertension or hematuria being seen over here as in the nephritis syndrome so those features are not observed so let us summarize the key facts that we learned today in minimal change disease. Minimal change disease is a common cause of nephrotic syndrome, most common cause of nephrotic syndrome in fact in children and uh, it has absolutely normal light microscopic and electron uh, and the immunofluorescent finding, immunofluorescent findings are normal and only in electron microscopy we will see the flattening of the photocyte food processes and the fusion of the food processes that will be seen and uh, the treatment is uh, to corticosteroid and the patient is having good uh, response to corticosteroid and uh, there is a uh, Massive proteinuria with highly selective albuminuria is seen. There is no hypertension and hematuria being uh, seen in these patients. So thank you and uh, please uh, like, share and comment uh, on the section. So see you in the next video. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon and follow in our different groups. And please stay tuned for the next video. See you in the next video. Thank you.